Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, a fantastic 11-11. 11-11 was yesterday. That was the 11-11 portal. 11-11-11 um, because, you know, 2018 and all that. Anyway, <laughs> I hope everyone had a great day. Um, I hope everyone's having a beautiful day so far. A good morning. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have some sage lit and it's literally going nuts. <laughs> it's like burning like crazy. Um, so if you do see that at some point, don't worry. It's just my sage. But literally my whole room is, <laughs> is being filled with sage smoke right now. And it's not too shabby. Um, it is the end of the stick. So there is a good chance it might burn all the way through. Anyway, not like you guys needed to know. <laughs> But anyway, this is, this is going to be a reading for Monday, November 12th. This is a general energy reading. So please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, this is not love or career or sign or anything specific. This is just the messages that spirit wants to bring through for today. They don't have to resonate today. They could resonate later on down the week or later on in the week um they may not resonate at all you know take what resonates sleep what doesn't otherwise um hang in there let's have a little, little bit of a little coffee talk yeah awesome i am using a brand new deck this is called the moon child tarot a friend of mine uh one of my subscribers she had an extra one and she asked if I wanted it and I was like yeah sure I love getting new decks always looking for new cards to work with so she sent this to me um, I am extremely grateful thank you so much to you um, I'm not sure if she actually watches the morning morning coffee series but if you do thank you so much I absolutely love it it is such a beautiful deck very excited to start working with it Sorry for, sorry for all the shadows here, guys. I gotta get some better lighting going in my apartment. But anyway, without further ado, I say let's get into it, yeah? All right, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, November 12th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. So, uh, at first I was seeing yellow. Now I'm seeing a little bit of a pale green color. Um, it's like almost like a mint green, kind of. Oops. Uh, I'm hearing healing of the heart chakra is happening. Um, and that's actually driven by will. You know, there is a desire to heal. There is a desire to grow, to release yourselves from um, old pains, old hurts, anything that may have been holding you back from love. Um, there is a little bit of naivety. naivety. Naivete, na naivete is <laughs> there you go naivete <laughs> um with this color of green um but what i really think that is is i feel like people are really getting to getting back to the innocence of love uh and the inner child some of you may even be connecting with some sort of line of work, some sort of passion project, or like just like a hobby or whatever, something that used to interest you as a child or when you were younger, um, reconnecting with that. But definitely yellow is the main theme for the day. Um, 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 willpower, drive. This is also the drive to get through the purging process to get through the healing process, you know, to move forward in life, to ascend. Um, there are a lot, you know, there are a lot of energies of 
ascension going on right now. Uh, we are moving on up the vibrational ladder. I might have to open my window. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, but this sage is really going kind of crazy right now. Anyway, um, yeah. Some of us are reconnecting to the innocence of love again. And that's actually a really beautiful thing. That's what Spirit is saying. So, you know, with this pale green color, it's not that, yes, there's some innocence there. There's a bit of naivete, but uh, it's reconnecting to the source, to the inner guidance system, to become, being trusting again, learning to be trusting again. But of course... This is tempered by, you know, a lot of the things that we've been through already. And so, you know, you can never really forget, uh, but you did learn from it. So that's a good thing. November 12th. Okay. One more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got. All right, guys. Take a sip of my coffee here. All righty. Let's see what we've got. For today, November 12th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. All right, so Perseverance. This card is interesting. It's very balanced. You know, this person is... um. This woman is meditating. She's in alignment here with the chakra system. It's like she's the the universe is within her. She's connecting with the universe within. Okay, and so she's really that's I I really feel like that's an energy of helping or allowing you to kind kind of persevere here. You have the three of wands, the king of swords. The chariot, and we also have ah, wow, the ten of cups. All right, something else wants to come out here. Here we go, ten of cups. Okay, like I said, love getting reconnected with the innocence of love, but something else wants to come out, and it's good lord, <laughs> it's the two of cups. <laughs> wow. That's beautiful, guys. So there's definitely an energy of connecting with someone, connecting with a soulmate. Um, it could be a water sign. It doesn't have to be. It could be a cancer. Okay, underneath the ch underneath the two of cups is the ten of wands. All right, that wanted to pop out also. Uh, but that's like really, that's the obstacle here, Okay that you're persevering against. There is still a bit of baggage, um, some burdens, some responsibilities that need to be carried out, that need to be followed through with. But for the most part, you know, many of us are still really moving forward. Um, moving forward quickly, okay? You could be dealing with a water sign, uh, particularly a cancer, maybe an air sign. Um, Aquarius, mainly, or it could be any air sign, uh, Libra or uh, Gemini. But again, it, but it doesn't have to be that at all. At all. Okay, what's going on here is there's definitely a connection happening. I'm hearing a connection of hearts, okay? And someone, some of you are in this, and this is why you, you would be persevering here. Some of you are in this process of waiting for the ships to come in, waiting for the return on your investment. And you're keeping a very level head about it with the King of Swords. The energy that I'm getting here with, I'm sorry guys, I really have to, I really have to open my window because the sage is going nuts. Um, okay, the energy of the King of Swords is staying very balanced, very detached, um, but this is, what I'm getting here is this is keeping control of your thoughts, maintaining a firm grip on how you use your mind. Many of us have learned a lot 
about manifesting, um, about, you know, the law of attraction, about the fact that you create your reality with your thoughts. So I'm really getting an energy of keeping a firm grip on how it is you use your mind lately, okay? Because many of us that are connecting, that I'm connecting with, that I'm channeling for, many of us are really looking for this Ten of Cups, okay? And it's really coming, th it's coming to us because look at, you have the chariot here. This is swift movement. Now this is the momentum that you have that is moving you in this direction towards. And if you look at it this way, this woman is, or the, this woman in this chariot is going straight directly for the Ten of Cups, all right? So there, there's definitely a connection happening. There's a connection that's building, that's growing. Uh, and this is a good thing. Now, with the Two of Cups also, there's also a balance within, right? Because not only is this um, a connection between two people, it's also a, a connection, a union within. All right, and that union within is really putting you in a place where you can use this ten of this king of swords energy as effectively as possible all right it is this union within it's this balance within that is allowing you to maintain this balance here with the nine of wands to continue persevering to continue moving forward okay this is my just keep swimming card it's like you're almost there and underneath the Two of Cups is the Ten of Wands, all right? So you're getting to a point. I really also feel like you're getting to a point, especially with the King of Swords, you're starting to look at things objectively and working on cutting away the clutter that keeps these ships from coming in with the Three of Wands. Because in order to start something new, you really have to let go of the past, all right, so I'm definitely seeing an energy of preparing. with the Between the Nine of Wands and the King of Swords, I'm seeing an energy of preparing uh, for the sh with, with, with um, the return on the investment in mind, okay? Um, and so from there, you go, you, 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 you meditate, you balance, you start to uh, look, you start to accept the reality of that is around you. And with an object objectivity, uh, you then become aware of any of the things that are holding you back, any of the baggage you still may be holding, the burdens you're still carrying from previous relationships, from your past, this, that, and the other, and you start to cut things out, okay? As you cut things out, you free up more of your energy, and you can move faster and faster towards this, towards this with the chariot, towards this Ten of Cups reality, okay? And this doesn't have to be just like, love, a romantic partnership. It could be anything that is ultimately fulfilling for you. This could be a career. This could be a hobby. This could be, you know, uh, traveling. You might you might really want to just travel the world, especially with the chariot. So with the king of swords, it's like, okay, well, how do I do that? How do I get there? With the two of cups, you're bringing yourself into balance in order to see that through, you know, in order to have the best alignment with your goals, with your dreams. Yeah. That's that's pretty freaking beautiful, guys. I think that's all, I think that's all I'm getting for that. I'm hearing union of hearts. So there are definitely some connections growing and this really could be mental in nature. Like, I'm I, for some reason, I'm getting an energy of uh, connecting with someone without really, like, physically talking to them. You might be telepathically communicating. Yeah. But the connection is growing, is what I'm hearing. At its own time, at its own pace. That's beautiful, guys. That's a beautiful message. All right. Let's get some clarification here. 
I think I'm going to start with the Nine of Wands. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, hold on. Now I'm going to close my window because now it's cold in here. <laughs> okay. Clarification time. I definitely want to start, the, let's start with the Nine of Wands. Um, what is this, what can you tell us about this perseverance, this just keep going, what, what else can you tell us about that? Hmm. All right, starting with the Nine of Wands, please clarify the Nine of Wands. Please clarify. The Empress. Oh, well, that's quite beautiful. Underneath the deck, you have the Seven of Cups. So, yes. Okay. That makes sense. So, uh, the Nine of Wands, <laughs> the Perseverance, and then underneath the deck, you have the Seven of Cups here. Okay. So, persevering. Why are we persevering? Because Venus is still in retrograde. Boop. That's simple. Um, and actually, what this also is saying is this is a really fertile time right now. This is, especially with how the Nine of Wands is depicted here, this woman is um, sitting in meditation, okay? She's sitting in meditation. And so she's, she's resting, she's centering, she's balancing, and she's dealing with all of the things that are kind of still illusionary that are around her. All right, all the options. All, um, so if you're in a relationship right now, um, you know, things might just be a bit up in the air. Um, things might, be, might not be too clear. There might be a lot of different things that you want to work through that you, that, that, you know, um, obstacles, minor obstacles. If you're not, if you're not, if you're single, you know, you might be dealing with multiple partners, multiple options. Um, you might be dealing with the baggage that you're wanting to release yourself from. Seven of Cups is also wishful thinking. So again, with the King of Swords, this is an energy of maintaining your thoughts in the right place in order to allow these ships to come in, okay? But yeah, Nine of Wands, and Nine of Wands and the Empress, that's, that makes perfect sense. Venus is still in retrograde. And I'm getting, I'm getting strong telepathic communication with the King of Swords. Because I feel like because of Venus being in retrograde, you know, there isn't that much communication right now. And then, of course, Mercury's going into retrograde after that, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> Communication might be even less of a thing. But that's only for certain individuals. It doesn't have to be that way. I just, for some reason, I'm getting an energy of there's... We're, you're connecting on a mental level. So that's telepathy. Um, that's thoughts and emotions. You might be, you know, really, really focused on daydreaming. Hmm. All right, so now I want to clarify. Let's clarify the Three of Wands on the King of Swords, please. Three of Wands, King of Swords. Please clarify. Three of Wands, King of Swords. <laughs> my, my, my. Underneath the deck is still, is the Seven of Cups still. All right. And then, clarifying that, we have the Two of Swords and the Chariot. All right. So, there are definitely still some things that need to be worked out here. <clears throat> okay. Um, there are just some, some decisions that need to be made. And... For some of you... 
some people might be fighting this energy of choosing, making a decision. Now, at the same time, Venus is still in retrograde. So some of you might not feel like you can choose. You might feel like you're blindfolded right now. Like you're forced to sit. <laughs> you're forced to just sit in this and just like not, not do anything, even though you want to move. Okay, there is movement here. But at the same time, you understand why you kind of you kind of may not be able to make a decision right now with the king of swords okay but then the two of swords is like being blindfolded needing to make a decision but like not being able to see clearly maybe even refusing to see clearly in some cases but there's there's definitely movement here and it's almost as if this is an energy of it's almost as if you are allowing the universe to drive instead of you doing the driving right now. Because I still see there's a lot of movement. The chariot is here twice, okay? There's a lot of movement. However, there's a lot of planetary change. There are a lot of things going on within the cosmos. And it's kind of just the best idea to just allow the universe to drive, <coughs> excuse me, to drive the ship, you know? It's very much a universe, the universe knows best kind of an energy, okay? So now with all that said, because, you know, with the Seven of Cups here, there's just so much going on, um, so much wishful thinking, that kind of thing that, you know, the King of Swords says, you know what, this is not the best time for me to do any of this. I can't really see too clearly. So I'm going to let the universe do move me, move for me, move on my behalf even. Okay, so now with all that said, we still have the Chariot and the Ten of Cups here. Again, there's a lot of movement towards this Ten of Cups energy. Right? So let's get some clarification on that. Chariot and the Ten of Cups. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Good Lord. With Judgment. All right. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's beautiful, guys. So, uh, what's happening here is whatever it is you are moving towards, okay, this is faded. This is destined. But this is only destined because you've been doing the work, you've been asking for it, and you've been hearing the call, and you... Good Lord. I'm sorry, guys. I wish you could see how nuts my sage is going right now. Cause I really, that's why I sneeze. I really have to open the window again. <laughs> Good Lord. All right. So check it out guys. With judgment here, this situation is definitely fated, fated. Um, it's destined to be, and I'm not saying that this is one person that's coming through, that's faded or anything. I, what I'm saying is the achievement of the Ten of Cups is faded. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pent Pentacles because look at that. That's just beautiful. I love it when these two cards come out together. Okay. Now, what the Ten of Pentacles is saying is that this is this is destined and faded. You're moving in this direction because you put in the investment, okay? And here you go. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are changing, all right? Cycles are coming to an end. Brand new cycles are starting. You're, 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 you, you will get a windfall. You will get your fortune. Like the Wheel of Fortune is saying that, I mean, this is such a beautiful message with the chariot and, wow, you're moving towards this stuff, guys. I'm hearing this is a faded event. This is going to happen. Okay? You just got to keep the faith. Keep persevering. Keep maintain your mental clarity. Okay? To the furthest extent that you can. Or uh, at least maintain objectivity here. Yes? Now, I want to also put point something out. <laughs> Excuse me. You have two tens here. Okay, 
These two tens, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, make up the Twenty of Judgment. Right there. And actually, to be quite honest, you have three. But the, 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 the two clarifiers that came out make up this Judgment, this Twenty right here. There is a lot of ascension happening right now. The ju judgment is the card of ascension, okay? So, this is really beautiful energy, guys. But there's definitely, definitely an energy of in time and effort has been put into this, okay? And this goes back way, way back to maybe even when you started your ascension process. All right, um, and things are finally coming to a head. Now, for a lot of us, these things are coming to a head now because others are starting to, you know, hear the call and go through their ascension process. So there are more and more of us now that are starting to resonate on the same level, that are starting to raise the vibration, our personal vibrations, and thus the vibration of the environment around us. So that's really a great thing. Ooh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. This is beautiful energy, guys. This is really beautiful energy. So now I'm going to get into the oracle section here. Um, and some of you have been asking that I use the animal cards, so I want to use the animal spirit guides here just to see what they have for us for today. And then I'm going to get some whispers of love and then probably the crystal mandala. Maybe. Maybe not. I think I'm actually just going to go with the animals today and then close and close with the whispers of love that sounds like a good idea all right here we go best messages to the spirit for today november 12th 2018 oh look at that yeah, oh, that is beautiful. Underneath the deck, you have beaver, all right? So this is very much energy of, you know, this family atmosphere, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Um, you know, the beaver is very hardworking. Uh, it's very family-oriented. It's very gifted when it comes to building a home. Uh, I really feel like that is what's happening here. Um, people are wanting to build new homes, wanting to start new families. I mean, I know I do. I definitely want to start a family. I'm definitely in, I know I'm personally in nesting mode right now. So you might be in nesting mode with beaver, um, uh, with, in, and you have dragonfly and hawk here. This is beautiful. These are beautiful, beautiful cards. Uh, dragonfly is definitely that energy that I was talking about in, in relation to the King of Swords that came out, uh, maintaining your objectivity, okay, Re uh, maintaining, maintaining your objectivity, it's um, staying focused on the end goal, okay, staying focused on what you truly desire and not allowing your thoughts to get away with you, to, to derail the return on your investment with the three of wands here all right and dragonfly is all about mental agility being able to change direction in an instant hawk is like one of the most ultimate hunk hunters all right i am going to read a little bit from the book but just in channeling the message here the hawk is and and on the nine of pentacles it usually is depicted as a woman standing in a very beautiful area, like in a garden or whatnot, very um, abundant, with a hawk on her hand. And to me, that says that, you know, she has the ability to, to, to get anything, to really do anything. You know, the hawk is, is a fantastic hunter to have a keen sense of eyesight. So this is keeping the hawk, a hawk eye <laughs> on 
you know, what it is you wish to pull in. I'm also getting maintaining your integrity when it comes to <clears throat> your manifestations. And I want to read Hawk the most. But both of the cards that came out here are mental in nature. And then Beaver is earth. You know, oh no, no, Beaver, I'm sorry, Beaver is water. Okay. So, um, you know, this is all... This is all in service of what is emotionally fulfilling for you. Hawk, here we go. Watchful, all-seeing, messenger of divinity. The sharp eye of the hawk watch out, watches our every move. This keen-eyed bird has the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture. When this card appears, fate has its eyes on you, and the winds are shifting. It is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings, and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. The message should not be taken lightly, though it may seem small or insignificant. It will eventually redirect your course. <laughs> I mean, I was saying, you know, the chariot and the ten of cups clarified the wheel of fortune and the ten of pentacles and judgment. This, whatever is coming through to you is faded. Okay, and that has a lot to do with the ascension that we're all going through. You know, all of the the upgrades and recalibrations that we've been experiencing lately. This is all putting us in alignment with that which that which we truly desire. Okay, I'm gonna read Dragonfly too, just to, just because, just cause. But it's like, those were the exact words I was using. Faded. Destined. Those were the words that were coming through. So, hey. That's pretty awesome, though. Dragonfly. I'm hearing just be patient. There are still some energies of waiting, even though you have the chariot here twice. Okay? It might seem like things are not moving on the surface. They may not be moving on the surface. But things are happening beneath the surface. That's for damn sure. Okay, the chariot is here twice, guys. There's a lot of change happening. So instead of focusing on when it's going to come through, how it's going to come through, get excited about it because that's what I'm feeling right now. Like I'm looking at these energies here between the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, Chariot is here twice. The Two of Cups is underneath the deck over there. I mean, there's so much to get excited about. Oh boy. Okay, Dragonfly. Master of light, illusion, and the mind. The Dragonfly is an ancient ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder in all. And actually, this card came out yesterday for the Twin Flame reading as the shadow dynamic of the relationship. <laughs> That's cool. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind, as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless or still, dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. Absolutely, guys. Should I read Beaver too? Why not? Here we go. Beaver, hard worker, loyalty, tireless, family first. The beaver personality is a welcome sight. These good-natured and dependable creatures have infinite love and enthusiasm for family and express it by a way of earth element, providing a home, financial stability. Although a beaver doesn't usually initiate a project, once started, they'll work steadily for weeks, months, or years to see it through. The beaver card appears when the task at hand requires your long-term, steady effort. It can also signify that it's time for some karma yoga, selfless service. When in balance, Beaver is happy. Oh, well, I don't need to read all that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> very interesting. I know we're in the Oracle section now, but I'm, I really feel compelled to clarify the Two of Swords for some reason. While I was reading Beaver, I was inspired to ask, why is the Two of Swords here? Give us a little... 
a little more understanding as to why the Two of Swords is here. So we may have lost some people because we have crossed over into the Oracle section already, but if you're still here, I feel like your this message might also be for you. All right, so give me a second. I just feel inspired to ask, why is the Two of Swords here? Okay, because the Two of Swords is with, Clara, is with the Chariot, and that's clarifying the three, of, the three of Wands and the King of Swords. So why is the Two of Swords here? And other than just Venus in retrograde, there's something deeper. There's a deeper message that wants to come through. Oops. All right, I'm just going to shuffle it then. Please clarify, Spirit. Please clarify the Two of Swords here on the Chariot, the Three of Wands, and the King of Swords. Please clarify the Two of Swords. Thank you so much, Spirit. Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. Underneath the deck is the King of Cups. This is Scorpio energy. We're still in Scorpio season, all right? Um... And the Seven of Pentacles came out. And actually, that kind of makes perfect sense. And this is how we are mastering ourselves mentally, okay? With the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles is about the harvest, right? It's also about, you, you know, understanding that you have reap, you, you're reaping what you've sown. So for some people, there is still some cleanup happening. There's still a, bit, a little bit of energies from the past that are, some are trying to understand. So this is why the Two of Swords is here. Even though, yes, yes, there's definitely movement. Don't get me wrong. There's definitely movement. But this movement is mental in nature. Um, there is, so for some of you, you can't really make a new start or choose to really engage in a new start because you still might be dealing with learning some lessons from the past, cleaning up some baggage from the past, um, really coming to terms with why things happened the way they did in the past in order for you to, see, to really move forward and have your new beginning. But there is definitely an energy of love, deep feelings, but also emotional maturity. All right, there, for some of you, there's really an energy of, uh, of uh, you know, acquiring greater emotional maturity when it comes to this situation, greater emotional availability, which is great. All is really moving in a very, very positive direction right now. So... The Two of Swords being there is not so bad because you still have a ton of momentum between the Chariot being here twice, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, and there's definitely a connection of hearts coming into play here. Every time I look at that Two of Cups, that's what I'm. That's what I. I hear a connection of hearts. All right. So next, I want to. I'm going to close the reading with some whispers of love. Some of you, with the Seven of Pentacles, some of you really might be under focusing on what it is you truly desire. What it is, what it is you truly want. Okay, so especially with the juxtaposition of, um, you know, what happened in the past and how you're reaping what you've sown in those situations. Now, as with the Seven of Pentacles, with the King of Swords and the King of Cups, some of you are really starting to identify what it is you truly want in the future and how you am kind of almost mapping out how you're going to plant those seeds in order to get that harvest. What it is that you need to do, how do you need to prepare, what you need to heal, what you need to let go of, what kind of baggage do you need to cut out of your life. Basically, for many of you, it's an energy of, okay, I know what I want, now how do I get there? Especially in light of what I've gone through in the past. How can I, how can I plant better seeds in the future? And with the King of Cups here, underneath this deck, the Unicorn deck, with the King of Cups, that, that, that figure is very much saying, I am absolutely willing to water these plants. 
and help them grow. I am absolutely willing, ready, or getting ready to be a nurturing, caring, proactive individual. Okay. I, there's, I'm just, wow. I'm getting so much beautiful energy from this reading right now, guys. It's really kind of fantastic. Okay, next to it, please. Closing messages for today, Monday, November 12th, 2018. There's one, and there's another. And that felt right, and that fell right on the King of Cups. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have treasure your loved ones. It, import, it is important to love others deeply. What I'm also getting with, the, with this card here is loving others deeply in a sense of connecting with them and willing to meet them eye to eye, being willing to do what it is you need to do to care for them, to protect them, to build the life that you're looking to build here because you got the Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups, okay? We don't have the Four of Wands, but that's okay. Oh, goodness. Look at this. The Queen of Pentacles is underneath the King of Cups here. And she's reversed. Why is she reversed? That's okay. That wanted to show up. So that's cool. So this is definitely a continuation. There's someone... I really feel like somebody's in love with the Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, so we have the card here. Card number five, show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. And this fell on the King of Cups. So this is advice to whoever is embodying this King of Cups energy here to start showing appreciation, start showing some sort of, um, some simple acts of kindness. Um, start making your intentions known, okay? I feel like for the most part, even though we have this energy of the Two of Swords in the sense that, you know, some of us are still dealing with analyzing things, maybe not even really able to see things all that clearly, having to do with the Venus in retrograde, or, or this actually could be a refusal to make a decision, a decision at this moment in time. But those of you that are, are, are in that energy, it doesn't, it feels like, it feels like you kind of have already made a decision, in a sense, but you're not moving forward with it just yet, because you have, you do have the chariot here, and the chariot is saying to me that someone, that there is going to be movement, there wants to be movement, action taken, it's just, they're not doing it right now, and with the two, and with, um, show simple acts of kindness that fell on the king of cups energy, whoever is this king of cups, this is the, this is the individual embodying the masculine energy here. The advice is to start showing some, some, some appreciation to someone. If there is, if there is someone significant in your life, show some appreciation, like show, start to do some things. Okay. You don't have to make any grand gestures, but like little, small, little pieces, bits of appreciation is, is recommended at this point. Finally, you also have rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a, fundam need, a fundamental need to take breaks. This is definitely very, very good advice right now. Um, we are all going through the ascension process. We are all going through this integration, this recalibration. And so whenever you can rest, and take it. Take the time to do so. Okay? All right, guys. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everybody has a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again tomorrow morning for our next cup of coffee. Yeah? Take care. Much love. Mwah. Bye.